What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back and I finished grinding out almost all of the side quests. Didn't finish grinding out the Prairie Scorpions one, but we are ready to go ahead and do Murder of the Messengers or Murder the Messengers Battle on the Prairie quest. Uh, as you can see here, we'll go into the bag. Gear score is now 332. Able to upgrade the weapon to Veteran's Mage Wand. We got a Holy Hat, which was 45. We got, uh, and then we got these Leg Armor of Miracle plus 3. Very good. Was very happy to pick those up. If you want to know how I did those, I did the little side uh, bosses around the map. So, I did all the ones over there, but like, eh, that's not one right here. Like this right here, Double Trouble. You get these giant reward boxes, whatever the thing is you kill. I believe I got the pants from the Sun Piercer boss, which I believe was right down here. I think he was like here somewhere, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. He might have been over here. I, I don't know. He was he's, he's over on the side of the map. That's all I remember. But that's where I got those from. And so, yeah, very happy to pick those up. Those were huge to getting us to a more sustainable level, uh, but we should be able to go here. I have not used the wand since I upgraded it, nor have I fought anything since I got the pants. So hopefully, hopefully we're just going to wreck stuff now. Uh, still probably am a little under leveled on terms of attack damage, I would guess. Maybe we're on par with where we need to be, but I feel like I'm probably a little bit lower than we need to be. I should be riding my horse. One day on this game... Okay, hello. One day on this game, I will get used to having to... Or, I'll get used to summoning my horse and actually using it, but right now, I just forget. And that's just how it goes. So, here we go. Let's get into this. We'll see what kind of damage I can do. So, I don't know... I want to check real quick. So this is... So we need to defeat the Rage Main Messenger. I'm assuming that's who's here. So let's find the Rage Main Messenger. Gotta be around here somewhere. Ah, here we go. Found him. Okay. Hit him with this. Try to... Okay, we deal a lot of damage to this guy. Was not expecting to actually hit him that hard. That was kind of ridiculously hard. Like, I absolutely smashed him. No, I don't want to... Get over here. Just die or get over here so I don't have to... Did not want to attract the other Rage Mage Hunter. Okay. Uh, so, here we go. So, now let's go down here. We need to kill the Rough Claw Messenger and the Dry Sand Messenger. That is a lot easier. I definitely could have... It would have been a challenge... But I definitely could have completed that, um, I definitely could have completed that way before. That was really easy. Um, but never know exactly what the game has. And I'm more than happy that I figured out this so that we weren't trying to progress through the game at level 10 with crappy gear. Because really, what we've done so far is all positives. I don't think there's really a negative. So we're going to go to this one first because I took the wrong path. And then we'll come back to the middle one. Uh, because I'm an idiot. And I'm st I am stuck on this rock. Hello? There we go. I don't know what the hell that was. My character was literally stuck. I was like moving the stick back and forth and he would not get off of the rock. Okay. Moving on. Let's go ahead and get this completed. I'm going to... Okay, we need to go up and around here. And there he is. Everything else is dead here, so just go ahead and clean him up. There we go. Collect our loot. And move on to the next one. Easy P. Could not be any... Hello, spawn my mount. Could not be any easier. So we need to go this way, and then we need to go down, and there should be a pathway for us to take here. Right around the corner and yeah i gotta take kind of a little bit of a weird route here so we go up we go here and then i think we can go either way i'm just gonna stick to the main path and then we'll curve around and he should be there for us to kill that should be that quest completed i thought this quest was gonna be a lot more difficult and a lot more fun but that's all right 
Well, we can make this area a little bit more fun by gathering everything up here. Hello. Come on. Hey, buddy. Buddy. Hello. Okay, everybody kite up. And... Hold on, I'm gonna get this last guy here. Hey, man. You wanna... Hello? Kite up for me? I don't even know if I have the messenger following me. I don't even think I have the messenger following me. I don't even see the messenger anymore. Blink strike. Ah, oh, there's the messenger. I do like how I have this random person here to help me. I think the messenger is already down. And there's that all cleaned up. Let's grab all of this loot. Nice. And that is, yep. So now we need to deliver the null messages to Bright Fang. So where is... So Bright Fang is all the way back at the camp. So let's get on our horse and head back that way. Actually gonna go... Going the wrong way right now, but that's alright. Got this little cut here. And I have no idea where I'm going exactly. Taking, like, the weirdest route. Okay, not what I wanted to do. Get off of my horse, because that thing is stupid hard to turn. Now I'll hop back on it here. Yeah, it should be... Relatively straight ride. Yeah, we ride to the till you can't ride forward anymore, and then that's where we take a left. The map is actually a little bit smaller than it feels like. Like it feels like it's a pretty big map when you look at it, and then you look at your character size on the map. But really, it's not too bad at all. Like we're already here, which is very, very, very nice. See, we could also, I should probably accept the Commander Rhea quest, I just haven't accepted it, in case I ever do kill the Scorpions, That, or if I want to kill the Scorpions, it'll be up on my map. I think it's just another one of the basic turn-in quests, um, that's just unlimited, where it's just kill these guys, turn the quest in, get X loot, uh, but I'm gonna make sure I grab that quest, just to make sure. I did say it was 16,000 experience, so that's not bad at all. So, Bright Fang... Uh, this is urgent request from messenger, a request for more red sand from goblins, enough red sand for all gnolls to breathe smoke. What is red sand? One day, strangers give red sand to gnoll chieftains, gnoll warriors who breathe red sand, smoke, gr smoke, grew, sh blah, 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 I can't talk, grew strong, very strong, now this smoke is signaled before battle, a prayer for victory. This power is why Navarra invasion was success, if not for Navarra witch, gnolls would have won war right then. But red smoke, it brings pain too. Br it, br it brings pain too. Those who inhaled began to shake. It hurt. Uh, many gnolls died of sickness, not in battlefields. Still, gnoll leaders bring more and more red sand. I not allow this. I poured red sand into the river and fled with my followers. Only rough claw and rage main gnolls use red sand now. If their battles are victorious soon, all gnolls will use red sand. My light on my controller is blinking for some reason all gnolls will use red sand then all gnolls will be due navara too uh gnoll leaders who use red sand must be stopped then new leaders will be picked better leaders talk to marka morda he is in camp okay so we'll go over here and talk to marka morda i still don't know if i want to read all that stuff or i just want to skip it and play the game I mean, the story's the story, and it's it's decent, but it's like it's the story, and it's like it's an MMO, and no story is better than Final Fantasy XIV. But hello again, imagine my surprise. Coming to check up on an old friend and finding you. Bright Fang gave me the rundown on what happened. It was kind of you to help him. I admit, I'm surprised these fools didn't try to kill him on sight. They're a bit twitchy. Uh, it's no secret that all of Navarra would be in danger if the gnolls got their claws on more red sand, so they're... So through no small effort on my part, I learned the location of all three Null War Chiefs. I have a map here leading to the leaders of the Dry Sand, Roughclaw, and Rage Main tribes. Okay, let's go. This should be fun. It wasn't fun. No. <laughs> it wasn't fun, I'll tell you that. It took time and patience and, scuff and shuffling around in a dead castle carcass for six days. Cattle carcass for six days. But truth be told, it's not the most disgusting thing I've done in this line of work. You really... You really, really don't, but let's continue this later. You have an important mission, killer. You're going to end this war by killing the Null Chieftains. Exactly. I have seen you in action. You can handle this with this map. You can end this conflict here and now. So this is only actually worth 22,000, and actually these gloves that it gives you are kind of trash. 
Uh, but I'm in, buddy. I'm in. So, let's see here. We got one work... Well, actually, no. That's the prairie. So we got one chieftain down there, one chieftain up there, and one chieftain down there. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Let's grab... We'll go to this one first, and then we'll just work our way down. So let's get going. All right, so let's get on our way here. I saved you all the loud annoyance of my sneeze, and away we go. So let's get down and kill these three. Hopefully, hopefully there's a little bit of a fight here. Kind of been, I don't know, some of the fights I've really enjoyed. Um, and I'm really looking forward to being able to do these dungeons. I really like how this game did it, where it's just, if you have a party, okay, yeah, go ahead and do the dungeon, but you can solo queue, which I think is just great. I think it's a great decision by them uh, to have solo queuing, because, like, I, a lot, most of my friends that I play with on a regular basis aren't MMO RPG players. They're play like, all, most of my friends, um, my in real life friends that I play video games with, they're more, we more play single player, hang out, talk while we do it. Occasionally we're playing Call of Duty or Halo or something like that, and then I have obviously my friends that I play Call of Duty with, but I don't have a whole lot of friends that play MMOs, so it's kind of good. I love that they allow solo queuing. I think it's great. Um, it's one of my big complaints with Black Desert, is that their, their queuing up to get into parties is not is a little lackluster. It's not terrible, it's just not good. I just think it could be better. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into the- Okay, okay, buddy. Which- chill. Oh, I knocked him out. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna run a little circle here because I need to get my health back. Because I didn't actually- Okay, okay. Run a circle, kite him around. Go over here. I'm actually gonna try to kill this hunter because- Oh god- Oh- Okay, well. Okay, we're gonna- We're gonna recover here. <laughs> we're gonna recover here. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go at this again. Okay. This time, okay, I don't have enough for the skill. Pop that. See, this would not be as bad if there weren't these ads here. They really, they really make this an annoyance. And, of course, I can't roll out of that. Because I'm out of stamina, because I ran around. I wish that... Okay, I'm gonna get hit by... I don't know... Oh, you just gotta do it. Okay. The other ones, they have, like, that timed... Okay. Oh, my God. This would be... I, I would have no problem with... What was I gonna even say? I would have no problem with something. I'm trying to remember what the heck I was talking about. I would have no problem with the dodging... Or with the... I don't know. I can't even remember what I was going to say. Totally, totally forgot. And I died again. Um, I would have no problem with... What am I, I can't even remember what I'm trying to say. It had something to... Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I can't even... Can't even remember. This is the hardest fight. I, I, I got what I asked for. This is the hardest fight in the game so far. Is whatever the... Whatever this fight is. What? Hello? Oh, I would have no problem with the stamina the, the way it is if when I, um, if my iframes were correct. Like, okay, so the stamina in battle restricts you from running, which I don't love, but it's fine. But under that premise, the iframes, can you, like, get your iframes to work correctly? Because... The lackluster way that the iframes work right now is just, they don't even, like, work. I mean, they're there, and they exist, they just don't work. If they worked, I would be, per oh, I'm gonna get, okay, well, okay, let's move around here. Not gonna die again, so, do I have to actually attack the totem of protection? I thought if I just attack them, it would count it. Hello. This is just ring around the rosy as I wait for my heals. Okay, I'm gonna actually hit the totem, I guess. I really don't. Oh, okay, you gotta actually hit the totem. 
Okay, well that that makes perfect sense. I'm okay. See, we learn we learn as we go. See, like right there. Okay, woo. Stamina just didn't just didn't give me the iframes to roll. Like it's just that's that's what I don't like. Like okay, it's perfectly fine if you like. What is that? And now I'm just gonna die. Okay, I didn't die. Come on, let me heal. Don't feel like dying here to this idiot. I can't, like, I can't tell... The one thing, I can't tell if... I'm gonna get hit by the... I'm gonna kill it this time right here. I can't tell if it's gonna be the one that shoots it up out of the ground, or if it's gonna be the one that, like, is normal and not super stupid. But, alright! First one done. A little tilted by that combat there. I mean, there was a lot of it I was just terrible, but some of it I just don't quite understand what the game... Like, it gives you such a limited stamina pool that sometimes I'm like, um, can you at least give me... Give me one of, one of two things. Either give me better iframes, which we know the iframes are just absolutely terrible. And how do I get out of here? Do we have to go, like, all the way back? We have to go like all the way back to the road. Yeah, I gotta go like all the way back here, and then there's only one way out. Um, but yeah, it's like, like it's partially I just am not that good with the combat yet. But it's also a fact of you're, if you're gonna restrict the stamina, because you have to actually get out of the attacks. The iframes are so bad that it's not like, oh, you're in a roll? Okay, you can't be hit. It's like you have to precisely roll out of it as they swing. It's like super, super precise. It's like more precise than you have to be in like Dark Souls or Bloodborne or any of that stuff. It's like crazy precise that you have to get. I'm going to go to the far one and then come back again because I'm an idiot again. Um, but yeah, the preciseness of it is just insane. And on top of that, it's kind of, it's really, I don't know, I just don't like it because from the standpoint of the stamina is low, so you have to either choose, you, you almost have to sometimes you get yourself into a spot where you have to just choose to take the hit because you're going to run out of stamina. And then obviously you don't want to run out of stamina and get hit, so you might as well just take the hit and have some stamina left to dodge another hit. I don't know. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's what I'm going for. Okay. I don't think I've fought, like, any of these goblins yet. Because I get pummeled in the back. Are these the actual goblins I have to kill for this quest? I think they are. If they are, then I'll complete this while we're here. Yeah, that was one out of ten. I'm about to die, actually. I just noticed that see here yeah we got time i always like to keep an eye on the video length i don't want to be i don't want it to be too long for you guys i want to have like a healthy video for you guys like a decent length i don't like to cut them like under 20 minutes but i don't want to i don't love when i have to do like 40 minute videos i think they're a little bit long that, oh that didn't kill you should probably get some health back. I'm probably going to have to do a double heal anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and heal with this first. I know it doesn't get my health back up that much, but I'm going to have to do it anyway. So let's chop down a little bit of tree here, wait for our thing to cool down. I never really use these elixirs, like this elixir of wellness. I'm going to use it just for the heck of it. I don't ever use it, but we're going to use one now. And we're gonna kill this thing while I wait. And I got hit. Okay, what a, what a waste. I'm an idiot. Oh my... What? I just got bamboozled. I got bamboozled. Hello? I did not know these things had a long-range attack. I got straight bamboozled by the game. Okay, weapon fortification... These things actually are a lot stronger than they should be. And I'm gonna get hit again. Okay, no, I didn't get hit. I gotta stop making, like, dumbest decisions. I get far too greedy because 
I still, I know I'm an idiot, but I still expect to be able to, like, dodge roll out. I don't want to fight you yet back there, big boy. I want to finish this. And, of course, again, I got greedy. I, I have to know that I can't get all of that off. It just doesn't, it's not feasible. It's not a feasible outcome. Uh, let's go back to the beginning and get these idiots. I need three more. Hello, come here, come here. Hello, come here. Okay, of course you ruined that for me. How'd you kill that thing so fast? You want to help? Hello? You want to help kill this thing? You are so slow. You killed the two that I wanted to kill so egregiously quick, and then you couldn't kill that thing with any sort of speed. You just took forever. Hit you. We need two more. Hit you. Come here. Stop throwing shit at me. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Why? Why? Would you... Hello? Can you guys kite up, you idiots? Thank you. There we go. That took far too long. There we go. Quest completed. Thank you. God. Never struggled with anything so much in my... Okay, hello. He's fighting this, so I'm gonna get into this right now. Try to help him out. I'll get the totem, boy. I got it for you, homie. My dude just got slammed into the dirt. Eat those hits for me, bud. Can this little stupid goblin just go away? Okay, we're gonna kill it. So, okay, there we go. Nice, 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 nice. And that dude cleaned up. It's always nice to get the little help. I mean, I don't think I need it for these, but free help is free help, and I'm not saying no. So, we want to go up, out, down, around. Okay. Easy, easy enough. I like the boss fight designs in this game. Um, they they make sense. They're all a little bit unique in their own way, and I like that. But I, I think there's some stuff that they could do better, obviously. But the overall concept of the boss fights, I do really like. Um, I think they do it a lot better than... So I use Black Desert for my reference point because... That's the only MMORPG that we really play on the channel, so that's just the reference point that I use. But, uh, yeah, in comparison to that, I think I like this a lot more. Black Desert kind of just is like, oh, do this, 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 then fight boss. This at least is like, okay, it makes sense why I'm fighting X boss. In, in Black Desert, it makes sense, but you know what I mean. This one just, it flows better, I guess. I don't know how to make that seem more make sense, but... The bosses make more sense. They're well done. They have their, like, area. There's actual enemies here. It's not like you just run there, summon the boss, and fight it. This is kind of like, oh, you infiltrate this area, you fight at said boss. Except I have to wait for said boss because Infamous killed it. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't explain stuff the best. I, conceptually, in my mind, it sounds better than when I spit it out of my mouth, but... Yeah, I, I, I really like these bosses more than the Black Desert bosses. I think they just make more sense. They're in areas with those type of monsters, and those type of enemies can come and fight with them. Um, and so, yeah, makes sense to me. But now we just got to kind of hang out here and wait for Vengeful Knoll Warchief to respawn. Should not take long, I would assume, since it's a main boss quest, or main boss. I would assume that we can finish i mean it'll spawn here relatively quickly is my hope don't hopefully it doesn't take too long yeah there we go okay here we go hit him open the fire okay that was a little bit okay here we go with the things that can hit me that i can't really tell and i was out of control can i get this off you i do have some help and we're just gonna absolutely slaughter this thing okay let me not die. Because that will reset his health if I die. Just take the help. Easy cleanup. Nice. Oh, I got you, dude. Stop moving. I got your help. Get him back up. 
And now we can go back and turn this in. So we need to speak with Rodrigo Casas. Those were not too bad. The, la the first one was a little tough solo. Not gonna lie, but my own stupidity helped contribute to that having any sort of issue. Like, me having any sort of issues with that mostly was self-induced. I'm gonna be honest. Most of that was self-induced. But it does tilt me because... So I've played a lot of games with bosses and, you know, like, styled bosses that are kind of difficult, I guess. So, like, I've played through Bloodborne, i played through all the Dark Souls, i played through Sekiro, all of that different stuff. And the big thing in that is, I mean, it, I don't want to, I don't know how to phrase it, but I, one of the big things is the ability to, oh wait, I just want to go up here, is the ability to use the iframes to your advantage. You use the iframes to your advantage and you um, roll through attacks. And so I'm very used to that. I'm not used to this where I have to like roll to get away and then you come back in and you hit. Because in that, you can, like, roll through attacks and then hit, or you can roll around an attack and get a hit off. It's not really get get the hell out and then get back in. I mean, that's not usually how I tried to play Dark Souls, I guess. So, it's taken a little bit of an adjustment, just a little bit. Uh, we gotta light the beacon now. So, let's go ahead and kindle that and light that on up. Sweet, a cutscene. Are they coming to actually attack us here? Hell. Well, this is cool. kind of a pathetic army they brought, but... Hello, are we getting tra teleported right into a battle here? That's pretty cool. I actually like this concept. Ooh, yeah. Just straight into a little bit of a war here, so we need to defeat 12 enemies that are attacking. Can't see any health, but we already got two down, so clearly we're doing something right. And I'm about to die. Totally didn't see my health there. That was... Good thing I noticed. Pick off the... I'm gonna try to pick off some of the ones on the outside. I want to use this to kill enemies in the inside. Ooh, this is, this is what I'm looking for here. I just want to keep these guys here. And to kite this guy over here. Come here. Come here, buddy. There we go. Hit him with that. Beautiful. We need to kill one more. You are lucky. Ooh, okay. So now we need to kill the Null Commanders. So there's one commander over here. Let's go get him. Let's go, buddy. Well, hold on. I'm going to heal. I'm going to pop one of these. Alright, let's dance. I'm just going to run right past your guys in the front and smack you with that. Now I'm going to play a little Ring Around the Rosy here. Ooh, don't hit me. Okay, that was a little that was a little iffy. That was a little iffy, but we got okay, I I messed up. Things things have been mistakes have been made. Okay, now get it off. There we go. Roll out. I don't know what I'm doing here. Blink strike, that was a terrible decision, but it worked out. Oh my gosh, that was a really dumb decision. But it worked out. So I'm trying to clear out all the side guys first. Well I mean I'm doing good damage to the commander, so it's kind of a dual purpose things going on here but i want to get all the little guys out of here too and there's just one that remains but i did take out the one commander so it doesn't even matter so we cleared all of those guys out so we got one more commander to go I'm gonna assume he's on the other side and i would probably be right i am right i'm gonna hit this i'm also gonna pop that Hopefully I don't need my healing before then, but here we go. There's a lot more guys over here. Do not like this. There's a lot more guys. Holy crap. I'm just going to do a nice kite. I don't even care if that hits him. It did hit him, but it's more about trying to clear out all the little enemies that are around him. 
actually not too bad at hiding here. And that's not what I wanted. That's... Okay, okay, okay. We got our... Okay, that... That was really bad. I got myself into a terrible position there. Just an absolutely egregiously terrible position. Back up. Pop that. I... Yeah, I just got myself into a dumb spot right there. So, let's get back to kiting. Get out of there. Keep on kiting. I got, like, sucked in there. That was, like, just terrible luck right there. I got, like, sucked into something. It, like, slid me down that hill. I don't know if that was just, like... I don't ever know... So that happens from time to time, and I never really know if that's the game or, like, what causes that. So we're just gonna... We're just gonna do our thing here, and we're just gonna kite, kite around here. Okay, see? This is what I did last time. I got myself into a terrible position. Terrible position. Use that. Get my stuff back. Okay, okay. Bad position. Bad position. Bad position. Bad position. I want to get this heal off first. I'm playing really defensive here because I don't really feel like dying again. I've already wasted all of my recovery skulls in this episode. Okay, that worked. That worked out well. Except I got stuck on this stupid rock, so I'm at half health again. But so is he, so I'm just... I can get my health back, he can't. I'm just gonna go ahead and play it smart and kite. Not gonna be greedy. We did get hit again, so I'm at 27. I'm gonna pop another one of these. Just stay clear of everything. I have 4% health, and I died. What the hell killed me? I'm gonna use the star seeds because... Oh, I can't even use it. Uh, I was gonna use it, but Resurrection is on cooldown, so... Oh, now I can, okay. I don't really know what the hell happened there. I really don't. I have no real idea what the hell just happened. I don't know why I just healed over. I just, like, lost 50% of my health, like, immediately. I have no idea. Okay, pop this. Pop this. He missed his attack, so that's just a GG, buddy. You can't whip your attack like that. I really don't know what... If, if anybody knows what killed me there, I really don't have any earthly idea. Well, this is like... This is like ultra cool right now. So now we're going to fight this boss. I really... <laughs> I know I've been saying it this episode, but this is, like, next level cool. I really like this. This is, like, really well designed. Like, you go from... Okay. Looks like I'm fighting this thing all... Well, no, 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 no. Looks like there's some other stuff. So pop this. Uh, I'm not gonna heal yet. I'm not gonna heal yet. Ogre Chieftain. That did not do a whole lot of attack damage, so... Okay. Play it smart, bait the attack, and of course, I ran out of stamina. My absolute favorite, just running out of stamina. I'd love to have frost bomb there, but really wasn't in the cards. And okay, that did hit him. I was gonna say if that didn't hit him, I'm about to lose my mind. Uh, I didn't get it off. That was... That was bad. That was really bad. Okay. Now we gotta do some kiting. Got him to 50% health already, which is good. Just run away, run away, run away. Alright, there's the heal. There's that off. Can you... S Hello? Swing your weapon, buddy. Try to get this off. That's probably my best damage doer. I'll try this. Eh, that's not bad. Okay, we got him to got him to a fair amount of damage down here. This is a greedy play, but it did work. He was a little slow on his counter attack there. And I yeah, there we go. Get another frost bomb off. That was big. Roll out. Uh Yes, okay, I'm good. I'm good. Good. That should kill him. Yeah, there we go. Okay, good. 
Much better fight there against the Chieftain. Much, 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 much better. I am Rodrigo Casas. My name strikes fear into the hearts of my enemies. Those of you who fight alongside me here today. My comrades, bound in blood. Heroes of Navarra. Well, that is uh, mission successful. Uh, Casillas is up here, so we're going to go or Casas or Casas. It's probably Casas. Um, I'm going to go up here and talk to Casas, and we will call it an episode. All right, and Navarro lives another day. There will be a feast in the city tonight, and no mistake, you've won the war. I won the day. No, this is our thanks to Bright Fang and to you, the hero of Navarro. You killed their leaders, and their forces never recovered. We merely mopped up the rest. Thank you. Our border with the Knoll Waste is calm once more, at least for a while. I must say, when you first arrived, I had my doubts. My kingdom can never thank you enough, my friend. You are welcome anytime. I'm honored. Uh, in fact, watching you fight so fearlessly reminded me of a legendary general from our histories. My father, and my father's father, grew up listening to stories of his grand battles and adventures. Those who saw his will and fighting spirit often said that he had a lion's heart. A worthy role model, your grace. Here. It's not complete, but this artifact still obtains or contains a part of the same general's memories. It is a treasure that has been passed down for generations, but I think it was meant for you. You're very generous. With the war behind you, you'll be stronger and more formidable than ever. Your legend will grow, but the more famous you become, the more enemies you will make. I recommend you gather the pieces of this blessing to unlock its power before you continue on. I believe I have part of it already, actually. Yes, Tatiana tells me that is the way of memory fragments. They seem to call to each other, almost as if they long to be whole again. I often felt an overpowering urge to face the Harpy Queen, holding the fragment in my hand. I felt the same. Good. I'm trusting you to find the other fragments, if you haven't already. Once you have all three, combine them at the altar of Viseria to unlock their true power, and return to me once it's done, would you? I'm curious about the results. I will. Thank you. Uh, I have all of them, actually. I did actually complete them, so I have all of them. So I just have to go put complete them at the altar of Viseria. I'll do that on my own. I think this is a good place to call it an episode. We had a great uh, episode. We got a lot done. Lots accomplished. Um, I do want the bonus attack power, so we're actually going to put that on. So that's nice. Bonus attack power. Always good. Did we get any consumable boxes? No. But that's all right. That was a great episode. I had a lot of fun with that. Um seems like the more i play this game the more i like it so looking forward to continuing have no idea what tomorrow's episode may bring it might be another just uh, side questy episode if where it takes me after i complete this fragment is to somewhere that we need to level up uh but we will find out we're level 13 working towards 14 uh drop the video like if you did if i'll drop the video a like if you did subscribe if you have not and i will catch you all in tomorrow's episode peace